From the CBS4 studio in Northwest Gainesville, welcome to Gainesville Game Day. Sponsored by Gatorland Toyota. Now, here's GTN News' own Phil Byrne and Gainesville Sun columnist Pat Dooley. Is your poll still racing from that classic finish a week ago? Wow, do we have a lot to discuss on this week's episode of Gainesville Game Day. Joined, as always, by the Gainesville Sun columnist Pat Dooley. I am Phil Byrne. Let's get right into it. Antonio Callaway's 63-yard receiving touchdown with just a minute 26 to go to tie the game up at 27. Seems like something just with the way it was set up and what had happened in that game. That we'll certainly live in Gator lore for a while. Pat, you've seen a lot of Gator football. Where does that rank? in terms of classic finishes and all-time grades for you. Are you saying I'm old, Phil? Oh, yeah, no, no. I think, I think that's exactly <laughs> what you're saying. Yeah. You know, I, I, actually, when I was talking to people about this, I went back to Steve Spurrier's kick, which mm -hmm. I was there for, and uh, obviously the 1960 game against Georgia Tech. We need some months before we can go back. Yeah. Right now, though, I got to think it's in the top five of all time at the Swamp, you know, with the Jarvis Moss block kick, mm -hmm. with Kerwin Bell running in the two-point conversion. I think it's right up there, and I think as far as greatest games ever in the Swamp, it's got to be in the top five. That was that big a, and improbable as a play. I remember thinking right before the play, I go, you know, Florida never wins on a miracle finish. <laughs> yeah. And then the game's still not over. we got to add more drama to it. There's still another minute and a half to go for sure. Just being on the sideline, uh, I was in that corner of the end zone where Callaway came in. It seemed like there were uh, you know, other photographers and other people almost jumping into the field of play. Some people came in to just – Pat Callaway on the back. It was unlike anything I've ever seen. And here is where it's like Lindsey Scott. Yeah. Because I was there for Lindsey Scott. If you look, ever look at the picture of Lindsey Scott crossing the goal line, there's a photographer behind there going <laughs> like this. Now, instead of like this, same thing in this Callaway picture, the photographer with a camera around his neck watching it and enjoying it. So <laughs> People in the media, you know, when we're not supposed to show, uh, you know, our tendencies one way or the other, when we kind of start to, to celebrate and show our fandom a little bit. We are on a new week as the Gators host Ole Miss tonight at 7. And guess what? Both teams are now ranked in the top 25. With the Gators checking in at number 25, Ole Miss at number 3. We'll touch on that just a little bit here uh, coming up in a bit. But right now, let's see what other games are on tap in today's starting lineup. The starting lineup, sponsored by Blue Highway of Pizzeria. We've got decent football at noon, but the keyword is decent because it might be an ugly watch with two offenses that have struggled to find consistency. South Carolina takes on Missouri in Columbia, the one that's in the Midwest. At 3.30 on CBS4, we've got a 2012 SEC title game reunion as Alabama takes on Georgia. With Alabama entering with a few question marks, it feels as if anything could happen. At 7 p.m., two programs in desperate need of a win and some good feelings meet up in Knoxville as Arkansas takes on Tennessee. At the same time, your Gators host a top 25 showdown against the number three Ole Miss Rebels. Ole Miss leads the all-time series 31 to 30. And at 7.30, 3-1 Mississippi State takes on 4-0 Texas A&M. The winner of this game could be a dark horse in the SEC West. Alabama at Georgia at 3.30 right here on CBS4. This is all the makings of a classic matchup, and Alabama is actually coming into this one seemingly a little bit desperate, having already lost once in the SEC to Ole Miss. We'll touch on them a bit later, but how big of a game is this for both programs, and who needs this win more? Mark Rick needs it badly, but Alabama fans need it more because if they go 0-2, they may lose their minds. It is a huge game for Alabama if they have any chance of achieving their goals in this mm -hmm. season. Georgia can lose this game, still be certainly the team to beat in the East, but as far as Mark Rick goes, winning a big game and having a chance to win or at least be in the, in the picture, the, the talk for the, the college football playoff, it's huge for Mark Rick. There's no question about it. Well, I have a slight suspicion that Gator fans are going to be pulling for Alabama in this one, obviously, with the Gators and Bulldogs now tied atop the SEC East. But the Gators play the Ole Miss Rebels for the first time in eight seasons later tonight. And, of course, you might remember what went down eight seasons ago. That's this week's Word on Campus with Chelsea Brown. The Word on Campus. Eight years ago, Ole Miss came into the swamp shocking Tebow and the Gators. After the game, Tebow gave one of the most recognized speeches in all of college history, and it's immortalized on the wall behind me. Let's see if the Gators can go 4-0 this year. Do you know about that speech? Uh, we're going to work harder every day, never be beaten again, go undefeated the entire season. Okay, wow, that's good. It actually got me fired up when I first saw it, before it became famous and everything, yeah. and I figured, I figured it was something different yeah. and that it would change the team's focus. Mm -hmm. So going into this game this weekend, how do you think that's going to, you know, hype the team up for going against Ole Miss? Uh, I think the week, the win from last week is going to 
continue to build the momentum. Yeah, I think that's going to be huge for us. I don't know if it will because this is a new team, uh, new goals. Because we're probably not as good as we were then, we're definitely going to need all the, the hype, the motivation that we can. Hopefully they're going to try to leave up, live up to Tebow's challenge and promise. What do you think the Gators are going to need to do this week to win against Ole Miss? Shut down the Ole Miss offense and Greer needs to show up with a couple of huge plays. I didn't give it their all. I don't think it's too great, but you never know. Because last game, it didn't look so good, and then we came back and we won it. Uh, you know, it's football. Everyone has a chance to win, so. They beat Alabama, so uh, slim, very slim. If we had a loss last week, I think it would have been a different story. But the fact that we won and the way that we won, I think it's gonna really going to fire our team up and give us confidence. I think we're going to play well. I know if uh, we win, uh, we're storming the field. They may just have what it takes to beat Old Miss. Reporting from the Swamp, I'm Chelsea Brown. Back to you guys. Plenty more to discuss on this episode of Gainesville Game Day. Don't go anywhere.